How's it going everybody? Coming to you today because we got a mail call. Now, you've already know what it is by the title of it, but what I wanted to do is get all of the stuff out of the way before I even show it. Uh, first off, I reached out to HRT and asked them if they would be interested in having my channel review one of their plate carriers. I kind of explained my philosophy to them, my beliefs, my thoughts, and they said, you know what, yeah, we're willing to uh, support a small channel like yours with someone with beliefs like yours, so we'll be happy to send it out. That being said, they did send me this entire kit for free to review, but they didn't say I had to do anything. There was no money exchanged hands. I didn't have to give them a positive review. They just said, let us know what you think. So anyway, just wanted to be honest and upfront with you. Uh, I've already opened it. I've already looked at it. I've been waiting for a nice day uh, to, uh, to do the review on it and finally got one today. So with everything out of the way, let's dive into it. So what we have here is the HRT H-Rack Carrier. Now the A-Track just means it has the uh, regular back panel uh, versus having the back panel that you can put all of the like backpack accessories on that zip in. They have a, uh, a different one uh, that, that'll allow you to do that. This one is the A-Track. It just plain regular back with a regular front. Now, let me get this out so I make sure I call everything the right name. Uh, this one, I did get the Molly uh, Cumberbund. This is the standard Cumberbund that comes with it. So you either get this or you have to upgrade to this one. Uh, I did do the upgrade, so I got the upgraded one. Uh, this is called the HRAC Adaptive Plate Carrier in Ranger Green. As you can tell, I like green. Ranger Green, HRAC. Uh, on this, I got what they call the Rapid Response Placard. I thought that was probably the most realistic need for me. Uh, it has two rifle and two pistol. And it is a regular placard system, so I mean, snaps on you can remove it with the velcro snap it back in place if you did want to change out something or if you wanted a different uh placard system they make different ones they make just molly they make uh nothing but rifle magazines all sorts of different ones a shotgun one uh i just happened to go with what i thought was most realistic for me which is two rifle two pistol um I also got over here on the side, this is their tourniquet. Uh, what do they call it? It is the tourniquet pouch version two. It has a little slot in the back for your trauma shears and the slot in the front for your, uh, your cat tourniquet. And then on this side, I got the warrior poet pouch. And yes, that is John Lovell warrior warrior poet uh he actually is uh i don't know if you want to call it sponsored or but he is actually involved with hrt so i mean if john lovell's willing to get involved with them you know they're good stuff uh i honestly i think that he's probably a trustworthy stand-up guy never met him don't know him personally just how he comes across but anyway uh the a track the rapid response and down here on the bottom, I got their sporin pouch. It is a uh, two pouches that attach to the bottom, a little dangler pouch. They call it the sporin. So a track, the rapid response, sporin, tourniquet version two, and the level magazine. Let me bring you down in close. We'll have a close up look at it and uh, get everything kind of loaded up after that and see what we think about it. But let's go in for a close-up look. Okay, so here we are for a closer look at it. I wanted to show off uh, some of the stitching here, how you've got double stitching on the ends. There's some double stitching up here. Uh, just looking at the stitching, 
you can tell that the stitching is far superior to that of the T3 uh, plate carrier that I tested. Um, looking around, the uh, everything looks good. I don't see any loose threads. Uh, the Molly is sewn really well. Uh, everything is attached good and solid. The padding on the straps, I mean, that's very padded. Uh, everything just looks good on how they, they, they put it together. I mean, I don't know, maybe it'll fall apart in two months, but I really doubt it. I mean, it looks very well made. Uh, and all of what I would consider the stress points, you do have double stitching. Uh, the sporing pouch has these little uh, 550 cord ties to open them. You've got pouch here with a little interior pouch. You got all sorts of ways to uh, arrange stuff. I believe I'm going to make this a first aid pouch. Uh, two pistol, two rifle. You have a spare rifle over here if you think you need it. If not, it'll just stay out of the way. A little bit of uh, Velcro here for your patches on the back. Same thing, everything looks very well made. The Velcro is very tough. So, yeah, stitching looks good. Velcro is nice and strong. And look, at the, the stitch, I mean, everything just looks very well made on it. The color's good. Uh, I like green. Uh, I think for the state of Arkansas, my area, green works year round. The only time that it won't is, is if you've got snow on the ground and that's so rare. Uh, you know, maybe might have snow on the ground a week and a half out of the year, two weeks, something like that. Uh, you see here, you do have weep holes at the bottoms of your magazine pouches so that they won't hold. Cordura, HRT, American made. Drag handle is sewn in. Oh man, everything just looks really well made on this. All right, so that is the close up look at everything. Let's get it loaded up and try it on and uh, see how we like it. Sorry about the hawk noise. Uh, anyway, uh, here we are. Let's get it loaded up. We will uh, put everything in it, try her on, see what we think about it. I'm going to use the sporin pouch as a uh, first aid. Um, so I brought everything out here with me to load her up. How about a uh, number four, I'm sorry, a four inch uh, combat dressing. This is basically your... Uh, Israeli bandage. We'll put that in there. Uh, how about a couple of high fins, chest seals, full size. We'll throw those in there. Uh, let's see, we've got some wound packing gauze. Get that in there. And then, uh, some Celex Rapid uh, hemostatic Z folding gauze. Put that in there. And then two pairs of gloves. So we'll zip that up. And that takes care of the first aid. Now we've got our admin pouch here in the front on the sporin. Let's make this an admin pouch. Uh, what do I want to put in the admin pouch? Let's see. How about right in the rain. Um, micro Sharpie. Pair of uh, multipliers, multi, yeah, I guess they are called multipliers. Gerber, whatever the Gerber ones are called. These are old ones, I've had these forever. I don't even know if they still make these particular ones anymore. But anyway, 
There's a multi-tool. Um, just a standard pocket knife. And flashlight. I've got a ton, tons of more room in here, but just because you have room doesn't mean you have to take that room up, guys. You know, always think about that. Just because you have room, it does not have to be filled up. There we go. And uh, let's see. Oh, I think it's still in my pocket. Let's throw first aid on it. So, eh, it's off a little bit. At least try to make it look good. There we go. Boom, first aid pouch. Load it up, ready to go. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and put the plates in now. Uh, that way I'm not fighting the weight. Okay, here's your plate bag. Uh, everything looks good in there. Velcro closure, the material. I mean, this pull tab, everything just feels really well made. Uh, I am running level four. Oh, might help if I put it the right direction. Uh, level four plates, shooters cut, front and back. Ceramics, multi-hit. These are, uh, in my opinion, better than the AR-500. Uh, they're lighter. They do have a shelf life, though, so that bugs some people. Uh, these are the LA police gear. So some people would consider that uh, an issue as well. But man, I have seen them take so much abuse on the internet. I've seen so many people do torture tests on these. I understand they're made in China. I'm not gonna get into that whole thing. Um, the odds of me ever needing this are so slim that I'm willing to take the chance with LA police gear plates. So enough of that. I ain't going to get into all of that. Uh, but I do like how this thing is made. Uh, I mean, that is some good high quality. I, I really do believe this is high quality and will will do you good. Now, of course, I'm not saying go out and buy it yet. I want to get some wear and tear on it. I want to uh, test it before I tell you, yeah, go buy it. But my initial impression is this is really nice. All Most. Ah, getting them tight is key. All right. There we go. Let's throw some uh, magazines in. Running. Uh, these are ASC AR 15. Uh, got a mixture of hand loads in them. They're my self-defense loads. Uh, some black tip varmint, uh, varmageddon. Uh, I can push them at some really fast speeds. Also, let's see. I think I just put those. I don't know. I have to put it on to see if I put those in backwards. Uh, here we are. And this one that's the John Lovell one. Fits in there good. Uh, a couple of pistol mags. My pistol mags are not loaded because I just got them. I was able to find some spare CZ mags online. 
just got them in. Just gonna give them a go. All right, tourniquet. Uh, it'll go here. Um, cat seven. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Uh, tourniquet goes here. Shears, North American Rescue. Uh, and the back here. All right. There we go. Believe that's everything. Oh, well, not everything. You always got to put your patches on. You got to have that morale going. So, let's see. HRT, and then ain't a good time until the party animal comes along. There we go. All right. So now she's fully loaded. Let's uh, throw her on and see what we think. Here she is fully loaded. Let's throw her on. I may have to adjust the straps. This is just how they came. Uh, that's close. I may have to bring it up just a hair for the uh, front plate to hit where it's supposed to. Yeah, I need to adjust them just a little bit on the length here, but that's just as simple as removing this. It's just Velcro, and then you just pull them up a little bit, and they Velcro back together. So I'll have to readjust it. I'm not going to make you watch that. It's super simple to do. Um, this is very comfortable, guys. I mean, this is, this is nice with some level 4 ceramic plates. I've got three AR mags. Two pistol mags, tourniquet, first aid. Nice little package. Looks good. The colors are great. The HRT, uh, A track. Yeah. It's comfy. I mean, it really is. Uh, they have what they call their pontoon system which let me show you on the inside here you've got padding that gives you a standoff and that right there's your plate you can see it's about a half inch or so and that hits you before your plates do so Gives you a little bit of standoff. Gives you a little bit of breathing room there in the middle. I say I'll just have to make some slight adjustments to the shoulder straps to bring it up a little bit. I think I'll be good to go. All right. So we did the unboxing. Showed you an up close. You see what it looks like loaded up. The only thing that's left, I'll have to do in a second video. And that's going to be the follow-up. I'm going to be taking and wearing this to the gym. I do a CrossFit style workout. Uh, we use plates and carriers. So I'll be using this during workouts. I'll get you some footage of that. I'll be taking it to the range. I'll get you footage of that. And I'll come back in a few months. And I'll give you my honest opinion on if it's worth it or not. This whole kit, including the sporing pouch, the rapid response, the warrior poet mag carrier, and the version two of the tourniquet carrier. This whole thing is not cheap. It's about 300 bucks, 350 bucks. So before you spend your hard earned money, please wait until part two comes out. And when part two comes out, know if it's worth it or not. You know, the first uh, chest rig I did, I thought it was great too, but six months later, it wasn't. So hold off on, on spending your hard-earned money. Let me test this. I'll come back and I'll give you an honest response after I do the gym work with it, after I do the range work with it. 
and then I'll let you know. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to click like, subscribe. That's going on right about now. And also, I am on Patreon. It's $3 a month. Uh, it gets you early access to the videos and access to the Discord server for this channel, in which we're always on there talking, um, posting deals, posting workouts. I post every one of my workouts on there. Uh, so you can work out with me. I post what my times are on those workouts so you can try to beat me. Uh, post Black Friday deals that just happened. Uh, any sort of other deals that we find, ammo deals. We're just in there chatting, shooting the shit. So if you're interested in that, if you want to support a small company, a small channel like mine, please think about Patreon. It's $3 a month. You know, one less Starbucks and you can help support my channel. Greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. HRT, A Track, Rapid Response, Warrior Poet, Version 2, Sporn. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Thank you. And uh, be looking forward to number two of this series in a couple of months. Thanks.